All right, here we're going to go over two quick option spreads, uh, straddle and butterfly. So in a straddle, what we're going to do, in a long straddle, we're going to buy, and I'll, I'll use 100, buy a 100 call, so 100 strike price, for, let's say, $5. I'm also going to uh, buy a 100 put for, let's just say, that $6. So what this is going to look like, we can, we can chart the profit here. This is the underlying stock price. This is going to be dollars. Um, put our 100 strike price here. So the profit on the call looks like this. Let's say this is uh, $5 up through there. Um, uh, profit on the put is going to look like this. Right. So now the combined position, uh, it, it's always useful to start at the kink. So if starting at the kink, if at expiration the stock is $100, we're going to lose 5 here, and we're going to lose 6 here, so we lose $11. So I can just put a dot down here. 11. So now the idea, above 100, uh, the put doesn't have any effect, and we make a dollar on the call. Uh, below 100, uh, the call doesn't have any effect and we, we make a dollar on the put. So in other words, it's going to, uh, our profit is going to increase by a dollar in both directions. So the, the straddle looks like this. Now the idea here is, this goes up with a slope of 1, this has a slope of negative 1. So immediately we can say, we break even here at 100 uh, plus, again, our net cost here is this is going to be $11. So we break even at 100 plus 11, so 111. When the underlying stock price is 111, and this is going to be 100 minus uh, 1189. So this is what our straddle position looks like. Our max loss is $11. We break even when the underlying stock price is 89 and 111. And of course, we, you know, our gain is unlimited off on, on the call side. Uh, so now the idea here is, what is this position for? This is neat because we, you know, we've, in the past we've covered bull call spreads, uh, collars, protective puts, uh, uh, and, and, and all of these you have a directional, a directional bet. In a protective put you prefer that the stock were to increase. A bull call spread again you prefer that the stock would increase. Here we don't particularly care what it increases or decreases. So what's the point of this spread? The, the, what we're doing, if you put on this spread, what you're saying is, I expect the market, uh, the stock, to be more volatile than the market expects. Because keep in mind, volatility is in these prices. So you're not just saying I expect it to be volatile, you're saying I expect it to be more volatile than the market expects. I don't know whether it will increase or decrease, but it will be more volatile than the market expects. Of course, on the other side, you could easily sell this call and sell this put, which would uh, mean um, you're going to sell a straddle. Now, of course, here in the long straddle, you're sort of buying volatility. In, in the short straddle, you're making the opposite bet on volatility. You're saying, I, I expect the stock to be less volatile than, than the market expects. So, uh, of course, uh, a short straddle is just going to be the mirror image of this. I, I can let you check that. Uh, um, you can draw out the, the sh uh, short call position, the short put position, but the idea here is this is just going to be and you can confirm this yourself. This will be plus 11. It's going to go down. So it's going to be um, just reflected above the, the stock axis here. Good. So uh, that's a straddle. Uh, now the next one is a butterfly. So in a butterfly, um, we're going to, it's going to be trading. Uh, now a butterfly is going to be important for um, for understanding the relationships of prices at different strikes. So let's say we have a 90, uh, we, uh, we have a 90, uh, 100 and 100, uh, 110 strike prices. So we buy uh, a 90 call, and let's just say we bought this call for um, $11. We're, we're going to sell a 100 uh, call and let's say we sold this for five, uh, we're going to sell two, and I should, uh, pardon me, I should say I buy one 90 call and I sell two 100 calls uh, each for $5. So ultimately I'm going to get $10 for this. Uh, and I buy one uh, 110 call, let's just say we uh, buy it for $2. So what is this going to look like? Now it's useful, particularly for butterflies, 
if we're, if we're going to draw what this looks like. Um, I mean, you, you can draw each one of these individually. Uh, what it's going to look like is we have 90, 100, and 110. You can draw each one of these individually. Well, let's do that. So uh, if I buy 190 call for 110, uh, it's going to, for $11, you know, it's going to look like this, 90. And it's going to go up right about there. This is negative 11. Uh, we sell two one, uh, 100 strike price calls for $5. So, you know, let's just say it looks about like this. It's going to drop down about through there. Uh, this is plus 5. The only thing we have to keep in mind is that this is times 2. So th this line reflects the fact that we have two options with that line, with, with, with this P&L. Uh, and then we buy one 110 strike price call for two dollars so that you know that might be around in here so how do we draw the combined position how can we draw the butterfly it's useful to sit there and say okay well uh, we're buying we're selling two of these um, two of these 100 strike price call options I want to make sure so we're going to get uh, ten dollars two times five and then we're buying uh, this and we're buying this. So in other words, the cost here is $13. We earn $10. So net, this this spread costs us $3. So what we can do here is say, okay, well then this starts at $3, right? These are all this just this the $3 just reflects um, our our trading in the options, which is, which is going to be $3 for everything below 90. So we can say, all right, well our cost here negative three below 90. Now what happens at 90? This call doesn't change, you know, still plus 5. Uh, the 110 doesn't change, this is still minus 2 right here. Uh, of course now uh, the butterfly is going to be, the, the, what's going to happen is dominated by the, the uh, 90 call we have here which is increasing. So this is, our butterfly is going to increase along with, with the 90 call up until about 100. And pardon me but my artwork isn't, isn't perfect here. Uh, so now where is this going to cross? Uh, this is going to cross here. At 90 it's negative 3. So this is going to cross at 93. And because this has a slope of 1 and it increases all the way up to 100, this is going to increase up until 7. So this right here is going to be plus 7. Now what happens at 100? Well, at 100 we're long one call that's paying. But also we're short two calls. That are, that are now paying. So net, we're short one call. Uh, therefore, it's going to go down just along this. It's gonna, you know, we're short one call, so it's going to decline just like this. Um, I'm not sure what the, these two lines are going to do. Um, so this is what's going to happen to our butterfly here. I should, this is going to stop. Um, now, of course, this is, you know, we have seven here at 100, so this is going to go through uh, uh, right here, our break even at 107. At once this hits 110, there were long two calls that are paying, short two calls that are paying, so it's going to flatten out. So that's what our butterfly looks like. So uh, what it looks like is a short straddle where, we, we, where we've cut off there and there. Um, good. So and, uh, to be clear, this is, three, uh, uh, this is a $3 loss for anything above 110. So why are these important? Uh, why are these useful? Um, one, they're really useful for understanding the relationship of, of uh, the prices of call options at different strikes. And I can create the same exact butterfly with puts. Uh, and of course, because put call parity, uh, when I say it relates calls of different strikes, it also relates um, to the puts and then the puts of different strikes. So to see how these were useful, uh, and they were all often used by floor traders, um, uh, you know, it was, it was often a trade that floor traders would do. Of course, this trade requires a lot of commissions, so um, not, a, not a trade small investors do. But the idea here is what, what would happen if I did this? I'm going to change this number to 6 and I'll change this number to 1. Now what happens to our butterfly? Uh, looking at this, the, the cost here is 12, but we earn 12. So net, it costs zero dollars to put on. Now of course what does the payoff look like? You can go through looking at each uh, individual option um, and confirm, but what the payoff is going to look like is 90, 100, 110. The butterfly is going to be zero up till 90. 
it's going to increase up here. Uh, uh, so uh, this is going to be plus 10, and it's going to decrease back down to 100, and there you go. So this would be an arbitrage. Uh, I, I put on this butterfly, I have no, it cost me nothing, which, and again, arbitrage can't cost you anything. So I, because it can't cost me anything, I can put on as many as I want. It costs me nothing, I have some probability of gain and no probability of loss. So uh, this would be an arbitrage. Obviously, what would happen if you did this, you would, you would sell a lot of these, you'd buy a lot of these, and buy a lot of these, and that's going to push the prices back to, you know, this was 6 to 1, it should push it back to 5 and 2, or, you know, it would also push this up. So, um, what this tells you is, is the relationship between the calls of different strikes. They're, they're you know, fairly tightly related. Um, the call, a call of one strike can't simply move around without, without calls of other strikes moving around. And that's you know, what the butterfly is really useful uh, in illustrating. Good.